Hi, this is Jack Tyler from Boston Sax. So today I just wanted to do a really quick overview of all three of the current Boston Sax Shop tenor mouthpieces. So listen, I totally get it. You're trying to make a decision on the site and uh, it can be tough without having these things in hand, which is why I wanted to do a quick overview on all three of the mouthpieces. But before we get into that, do me a huge favor. If you haven't already, just click that subscribe bell below so that you can get the latest videos from Boston Sax Shop. Essentially, when I set out to design the first three Boston Sack Shop tenor mouthpiece models, I was really thinking along the lines of another one of my passions, which is coffee. So I had this idea to basically create three different uh, sonic blends, if you will, a dark, medium, and light roast. And by that mean, I wanted something that would be on the darker spectrum, something that was kind of right in the middle, and something that had a little bit more brilliance. And that's the short description. Uh, essentially, the three models that we have, the S, R, and E, fall into those categories. The S model, which is based off one of my personal vintage Selmer soloists, has a small chamber, straight sidewalls, and essentially no baffle, so that's going to be the darkest model out of the lineup. It also, in my opinion, because of that small chamber and the straight sidewalls, has the most core, and in some ways the most evenness. <laughs> The R series, which I guess we could consider to be our medium blend in the mix here, has a large round chamber, round sidewalls, and a little bit more of a rollover baffle. So to me, compared to the S, that piece is a lot more flexible, uh, certainly has more spread to the sound, and overall it's just a ton of fun to play because it's just so free-blowing and lush. So the final model, the E series, has more of a medium chamber, a higher rollover baffle, and again those scooped out sidewalls kind of like an old link, and to me that's like the most versatile. There's a lot of projection, you know, that, that little bit of brilliance, especially in the upper overtones, but still retains a nice dark warm quality. <laughs> So in a nutshell, uh, that pretty much sums up the characteristics of the three different models, S, R, and E, which I consider to be a part of the Originals series for the Boston Sack Shop Mouthpiece lineup. Now, if any of those sound appealing to you, uh, we actually have in-depth standalone videos on each one of those models talking a little bit more about the design language and uh, you know how they came to be. And in addition, if you head over to the website, bostonsaxshop.com, you can hear plenty of audio recordings of some really incredible saxophone players I'm sure you will have heard of playing each of the different mouthpieces so you can get a better idea of how they're going to sound. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, hit subscribe if you can, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.